Okay, Shireen. Uh, last night you looked absolutely devastated, and I don't blame you, about being voted off of Survivor's mm-hmm. Second Chance. How are you feeling now all these months later? I'm feeling so much better now. Um, I've, you know, gotten the chance to uh, get back to real life, reacclimate, and um, mm-hmm. and the Survivor is so addictive, and I think people leave the game with this, you know, combo PTSD, but huge addiction. Like, what could what could you have done differently, and will I ever be able to go back? Um, mm-hmm. But I just played back to back, and so I'm able to sort of take a step back and say, well, I played twice. I had a good run, and uh, mm-hmm. it didn't go the way that I wanted it to the second time around, but it was also a way more lighthearted season. The people were way kinder this time around, and um, and I still got to make some moves. So it wasn't all bad. Had a good time. Yeah, you made a big move in in the first episode. You you were instrumental in voting out Vetus. In fact, Vetus gives you a lot of credit when I talked to him last week. Um, can you yep. explain why you you chose Vetus to 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 be the first one out last week? Yeah, it was several reasons. One, we felt like he was the most connected person. We thought he and Terry would be the most connected people in the game um, mm. in terms of both pre game alliances and pre existing relationships with people. Um, and then also, um, Vetus, uh, well, both of them also, like, weren't really willing to work with us. But Vetus in particular, when I tried strategizing with him, he would just say to me that he was just there to have fun. And that's because he already had his alliance locked down, or so he thought. Uh. And, um, and I just thought, well, gosh, like, you know, if he's not willing to work with me at all, then I better get rid of him because... I got open door. I got open door. Open doors elsewhere. Mm-hmm. And if your alliance has stayed intact, do you, who do you think was going home? Would it have been Wu, Wigglesworth, or Terry? It would have been Terry. Terry was mm. um, pretty uh, lacking in social graces. Was often saying rude and condescending things, particularly to to the women. And um, and I don't think he realizes that he is that way at all. Mm-hmm. But um, but he said some inappropriate things, like when Abby was reading the tree mail on day three for the first challenge, um, the font of the tree mail was really hard to read, and so, um, you know, she was struggling to get through it, and, and Terry, you know, yelled out, can somebody who actually speaks English read this tree mail? Oh, my gosh. Is Terry the like, new Dan? Oh, my God. He's, like, not as bad as Dan. I think – because also, like I said, like, his, his intentions aren't bad. He just, like, has no – I mean, maybe Dan also has no idea. I don't know. I can't explain the difference, like, articulately, but Terry just doesn't know any better. <laughs> like, he just doesn't – he doesn't realize how bad the things are that he's saying when he says them. Uh, like, he also forced Kelly Wentworth to swear on her dad's life that she would vote however he told her to. Oh, my goodness. And it's just, like, it's so patronizing, you know? It's like, this is this is Terry. And um, and he even said to PG at the first vote and the second vote, I don't need you. I've got my five. If you want, you can be our six. Wow. So A lot of learning but, to do still. So. Yeah, but PG didn't want to vote him out because uh, she was worried about losing all the challenges and um, – and Barner definitely didn't want to vote him out because obviously they had a pregame alliance going on, and and so I was the next to go. Do you think um, maybe Jeff Barner is underestimated by, by the alliance there? But like you and Spencer, he I didn't know he would be such a strong player, and I'm guessing you guys didn't foresee that either. Well, I mean, like I got voted out because I got caught going for him. Like I saw immediately that he was running the game. He was the only mm-hmm. person that everybody was willing to work with. Everybody trusted him and believed in him. And so when he turned on our alliance, I picked up on it immediately and thought, we got to get everyone to vote him out because he's untrustworthy. Um, but I think other people are underestimating him. Or I think other people just want to, like, I, I think they, they look to him for that guidance, uh, for that mm-hmm. strategic guidance that they, that they lack. Like, Terry and Wigglesworth. Not very strategic people have no idea what game they're playing. So <laughs> Varner is a great leader for them, um, and uh, I, I mean I think that by this tri- by the time this tribal council rolls around, 
everybody there knows that uh, that Jeff is running the show, except for Terry, because Terry thinks that he's running the show. Ah, uh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, at, at Tribal Council, Jeff was – he was trying to make this case that your game last season and Abby Maria's game this season are very similar. Do you think those are fair comparisons? I think maybe he was stretching it a little bit. Oh, just a smidge. No, I think – I think perhaps the comparison that he was making was that she felt like she had been out, you know, and she, like, she felt like she was an outcast and, you know, Terry came and comforted her. And in my season, I was definitely an outcast. And, um, uh, you know, and it's not that Mike comforted me. It's that, but, that, but you know, that was, that was the comparison that Jeff was making that Mike comforted me. But in fact, mm-hmm. I was actually the victim of a, of a vicious attack by multiple people throughout that season. And in particular, during the most vicious one, um, Mike was the only person who stepped up for me and stopped it from happening. Um, in this case, Abby is the one attacking every bee around her all the time. And mm-hmm. people are building up defenses against it. And when they defend themselves and protect themselves against her, she gets upset. And she, you know, then runs away crying. And this would happen all the time. And um, I kept protecting her and I kept comforting her. And it got to a point where I just couldn't do it anymore. And that was the final one that you saw on TV. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so are they similar? No. No, no, no. They are not similar at all. The only similarity there is that she was crying. I was crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People cry. You know, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to be on the island with, with Abby Maria. I mean, she's great TV, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I would ever want to actually talk to her in person. <laughs> is that rude? Nah, I mean, what's rude is the way that she treats people. <laughs> Um, yeah. I think most recently she did a periscope where she said, this is, this is Abby Marie in a nutshell. She does a periscope the other night where she says, you know, people shouldn't say mean things about other people. You should only say nice things about other people. Spencer is a little shit. Spencer's a retard. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm like, you, and she, and like, I'm, you know, I'm, we're, we, of course, are sitting here thinking, like, did you just say that? Did that just come out of your mouth? Do you hear yourself? And mm-hmm. the reality is she doesn't. She doesn't hear herself. She doesn't hear that contradiction, you know, like back to back though it is. She doesn't see it. She doesn't see herself as doing anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Hey, where did so, this alliance with, with Spencer originate from? Was it mostly just a friendship or was it strategic or, or maybe both? All of the above. Um, he and I just really gelled and saw – the game in very similar ways and uh, saw different, you know, saw different people similarly. Like we saw Vetus as a threat. We saw Terry as a, as a liability. We saw um, Kelly Wentworth for, uh, you know, the intelligent, logical partner that she is. Um, and we saw Abby as a vote that we needed to get our way. And it just, um, we were just natural partners, Spencer and me. We, seem like we'd be very different people we certainly you know had very different seasons first time around from each other but in actuality he and i are very similar uh speaking of kelly wentworth currently at gold derby that's who our readers think is going to win this season um i'm curious who do you who do you think i mean you're a big fan of the show i'm sure you're watching it and seeing things that you didn't see while you were out there who's having like the winner's edit that you think well i mean when I was out there, I was thinking, wow, Takeo is fucked. Um, the Bion tribe just got all the psychological stability, and they get all this bonding time with each other now to, mm-hmm. you know, hunker down and, and shore up their alliances with each other. Um, but I do think that if anybody can break into the Bion scene, it is both Spencer and Kelly Wentworth. I think the old school people on, on Takeo are way too caught up into this old school versus new school thing, and that's going to fizzle. I think that Varner, while he's an amazing strategist, I think he's being way too open about how he's the guy in charge right now. Um, Mm -hmm. And then Abby is a psychopath who needs therapy and medication, so she's not (laughs) anywhere. Um, but, but, But Kelly is amazing because she knows how to blend in. Uh, when she needs to, but she also has great opinions and she's, you know, got great, um, strategy impulse. And so, uh, so I think that she's going to be one who can 
slip through, and plus with that immunity idol in her pocket, like, that can really help her out. And then Spencer is just, like, a really intelligent guy that everybody underestimates because he's so young. I think people, um, you know, were threatened by his potential connection to the other Kagiyan castmates, mm-hmm. but, like, they're not actually seeing, no, no, this guy has the ability to connect with a lot of different kinds of people and to seem really unassuming. And um, and uh, I think people see Spencer as somebody they can take under their wing and, and uh, you know, teach, you know, you know, teach a lesson or two, to Whereas, like, Spencer's the one actually who uh, knows this game better than anyone. So I think that he has the right mindset to go to the end. I'm rooting for Spencer and Kelly. It's no secret. Uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of also rooting for Sierra. I loved her on her first season. I mean, she voted out her oh, mother. She's great. Come on. <laughs> I know. She's um, so great. She, also, she had a lot of subtle moves her season that I really appreciated also. Hmm. And last question, Shereen. You're such a super fan. That's what we love about you. After these two back-to-back experiences, are you still going to remain a super fan? Yes. I am actually so looking forward to going back to just being a fan and uh, no longer having the anxiety week to week of these episodes airing and what's going to show, how people are going to react. So, yep, definitely still a fan. Looking forward to it. Nice. Well, we will see you at the reunion. I wish you could have lasted a little bit longer, but, hey, that's the way it goes. Yep, me too. All right, well, have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.